What's up guys, Rick here, and with golf coming back, I wanted to celebrate with a giveaway. So I will describe the four ways that you can get your entries into this drawing, but let me show you what I'm giving away. It's this Ricky Fowler autographed uh, flag from the 2018 US Open at Shinnecock Hills. It is a beautiful big autograph by, by Ricky. It's embroidered, it's an absolute uh, awesome piece. And I've got two of them, okay? So that is, uh, that's going to be the prize for this giveaway. And there's four ways to enter. And if you enter in all four, you maximize your chances. They accumulate. So here we go. On Twitter, I have a pinned tweet uh, for this giveaway that all you have to do is retweet and follow me on Twitter. That's way number one. And I will link that in the description. On Instagram, I have a similar post. All you need to do is like that post and follow me on Instagram, which I will also link in the description. On YouTube, make sure you're subscribed to the Rick Run Good YouTube channel and comment on this video with who your favorite golfer is. That's entry number three. And the fourth way is leave a five-star rating and review on the podcasting platform of your choice, iTunes, wherever else you listen to podcasts. Leave a five-star review rating and review, say something nice about the show, and leave me a way to get in touch with you, preferably a Twitter handle in case you win. Those are the four ways. You do them all, you maximize your chances because I'm going to throw them all into a bowl and I'm going to draw out two names on May 17th, which is the date of Taylor Mage driving relief where we will see Ricky Fowler tee it up with his partner Matthew Wolf against Rory McIlroy and Dustin Johnson. We are so close to live golf coming back. I'm absolutely stoked about it and I'm sure you guys are too. Best of luck. Talk to you soon. All right, spreadsheet golf for the PGA Championship. So this is um this is kind of weird now. <laughs> We're in a weird situation where we're, ne we're now going to do an event that has been rescheduled as opposed to canceled. Um, so it's kind of awkward, but what, I, what I'm going to continue to do is uh, simulate and do spreadsheet golf for the week that we would have had on the original PGA schedule before any coronavirus COVID-19 stuff. Um, before any schedule changes, I'm going to stay on that schedule, uh, because you know, we might not need, we might not need to always have, uh, these videos because when the PGA championship happens, uh, for real, this will be a DFS preview video, right? So, um, I'm going to continue to stick on the schedule. So it's PGA championship week. It's TPC Harding park. Uh, before we get to that, let me show you what happened last week because it was pretty compelling stuff and uh you know apologies i i did not get a chance to um really dive into this last week i had a, a bunch of conflicts i wasn't i didn't have a chance to uh create a video but uh let me walk you through what happened last week so brian gay was able to hold on and win this thing last week in the simulated at&t byron nelson 18 under par uh, a, a third round 64 really catapulted him. Now, Paul Casey was in the chase group. Uh, Justin Thomas was in the chase group for a while. There were guys that were a lot closer to him. Justin Thomas specifically though, goes out and shoots one of the worst rounds, uh, of the day, uh, from at least any of the leaders. It might be one of the worst rounds, a 73. Did anybody shoot? Okay. There was a 74, uh, Christopher Ventura shot a 74, Sun Kang shot a 74, so there were a couple of worse rounds. Uh, Cameron Tringali, 76. There was an 80 down there for the last guy. But uh, JT shooting a 73 and falling to a T8. Uh, he was in the winning lineup, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, basically because out of tier number one, Rory McIlroy uh, missed the cut. So I'll, I'll show you that stuff in a second. But let's look at JT's Sunday here. Uh, and it's, it's really not pretty. I mean, he, he bogeys one, he gets it right back on two. Um, he actually didn't play all that bad. He made a couple of birdies on the front and then just kind of did not play well on the back. It looks like three over on the back played his last, what is that? 11 holes or so at four over par. That's just not 
going to cut it uh, anywhere, especially here in in spreadsheet golf. Uh, but the big thing was was Rory missing the cut. So Rory goes and uh, where is my buddy Rory? Two over par, I believe he was. Yeah, here he is. Uh, both Rory's finished two over. McElroy goes 72-71. I believe, and uh, don't quote me on this. Someone can correct me. This might be the first time Rory's missed a cut in spreadsheet golf. And we've been doing this for, I don't know, eight weeks or something. Maybe more than that now. Um, this might be this might be week nine or ten coming up. And I think this is the first time that Rory has actually missed the cut. Um so that's that's noteworthy. Now, uh, if you look at the spreadsheet, so these are the actual responses uh, from last week. Rory was fifty two was owned in fifty two percent of the lineups. Um, so no surprise to see that Justin Thomas and John Rahm uh, were the players out of tier number one. Because remember, I put these guys into tiers. You choose one from each of the six tiers to cr create and complete your lineup. Uh, so the winning lineup, Jay Haas was Justin Thomas, Terrell Hatton, Adam Hadwin, Lonto Griffin, Tom Hoagie, and Harris English. Um, Jay Haas also came in second, okay? So he took home first and second place prizes. Uh, congrats, that has been paid out at this point. Also, Austin Blasky continues to find his name in the money he finishes in third. So um, we're going to fast forward to this week, which again, for PGA Championship, I stacked the field uh instead of taking a, a, a random sampling like we've kind of been doing over the past couple weeks to give guys uh you know rest weeks and, and and get more players into the field this is an absolutely stacked field that i created for this week so uh this is what the entry form is going to look like um 25 dollars send it on paypal all the instructions are at the top of the entry form i will link this entry form in the description uh so you can get three entries into this thing, just like we've done every week. Now, keep in mind, not every player in the field is available to be chosen. Okay, that was a question that came up once or twice over the past couple of weeks. Now that we have full field events, 140 golfers in the field, um, it would be kind of wonky to, to make everyone available in a tiers format. So, uh, you know, without having 40 guys in tier number six, for example. So I really stacked the field and I tried to give you an opportunity to make some really good lineups here. So in tier one, uh, these are listed alphabetically. So nothing else to it. Someone asked me if Brooks Kepka is the best play because he's first. Not necessarily. These are alphabetical. So Brooks Kepka. Dustin Johnson, John Rahm, Justin Thomas, Patrick Cantlay, Roy McElroy, and Webb Simpson. That's seven guys in Tier 1. Tier 2, I believe, has seven or eight. Uh, Adam Scott, Bryson, Justin Rose, Leishman, Patrick Reed, Tommy Fleetwood, Xander. Then they get a little bit bigger. I think Tiers 3 and 4 go to like 10 or 12, and then down to Tier 5 and Tier 6. But even Tier 6 is um, like Phil's in this tier, Victor Hovland's in this tier, Bubba's in this tier, Brendan Todd is in this tier, Adam Hadwin, who was in the winning lineup last week, is in this tier. So this is a pretty stacked uh, entry that we have for this week. And if you're a member of DFS On Demand, you can go to the key stats page. I've loaded in the tiers and players for this week so that you can go through and look at their stats again without giving the entire formula away um there is a statistically you want the best players obviously um anyone who has played maybe well at other pga championships i know we don't have other harding park uh, results for the PGA Championship, but PGA Championships in general have a similar field, uh, you know, strength of field, for example. So you want to get guys that have probably played well in other PGA Championships, um, things like that. You want to make the best lineups. It is not, it, while there is a random number generator aspect to it, over time, the best players are going to rise to the top. So you want to make, you don't want to just take, uh, I mean, I guess it would work in tiers, the worst guy in, in all six tiers. You might get away with that because it's a tier format. But generally speaking, uh, the better golfers are going to continue to find success in this format. So uh, get your entries in. Um, I'm going to uh, shut it down. I, I think I've been doing like Wednesday night at midnight Pacific. Uh, so 3 a.m. Eastern on Thursday morning. If you don't have a time-stamped entry in uh, through the Google Doc you're ineligible. Uh, if for any reason you have not paid, you are 
obviously ineligible. Um, don't make me chase you down for it. It's you know something we're putting on just for fun so that we have something to root for over the course of the week. And then remember, you can go to SpreadsheetGolf.com. Thursday morning, this is going to flip over to the PGA Championship, and it will run Thursday through Sunday like the actual tournament would. You can click through. It'll refresh every five minutes. Click, you know, refresh your browser. New stats will come in, uh, and you can see the progress for each and every hole for each one of your players. So um, I hope you enjoy. Best of luck at the PGA Championship this week. Uh, if you have any questions, concerns, comments, tweet me at Rick Rungood or leave a comment below. See you.